Hello everyone, Punjabi Cyclist here. Today I'm doing a quick unboxing video. Just got my Garmin Edge 10 at 30 plus cycling computer just arrived this morning. Uh, the reason why I got the Garmin 1030 plus is to replace my Wahoo Roam. The reason why I'm replacing my Wahoo Roam, if you've seen my previous Audax videos, I've had issues with my Wahoo Roam. The data loss of my ride, screen freezing at the maps, my Wahoo computer on the map screen froze. The f So therefore I thought, let me replace it with a Garmin 1030 Edge Plus. Even though Wahoo have been kind enough to replace the headset, if you can see this is a brand new headset that Wahoo have replaced for me. And it was a big shout out to Wahoo for the excellent customer service and them sending you the replacement in super quick time. And also this morning I received an email from Wahoo saying they are, they are happy to give me a full refund. The reason why I'm a bit anxious of using the Wahoo again, even though it's a brand new headset, is just I don't want any further issues, especially I have an Audax, Audax ride 300k this weekend. So I thought let's give the Garmin Edge 1030 plus a try. The good thing about the Garmin compared to the Wahoo is that the Garmin is touchscreen. Wahoo's not touchscreen. Garmin is color screen. Wahoo's mainly black and white. Also, the maps are very detailed on the Garmin. So it has more data screens. Also, customization options compared to the Wahoo ROM. I've had my viewers mentioned about the Hammerhead Karoo 2 as being a very good cycling computer. I did my research, it is a very good computer, good value for money. The only issue I have with that is I have Shimano Di2 group set on my bike and it doesn't integrate with that. Uh, I don't know if you heard the news uh, recently, back in January, I believe Hammerhead was bought by Shiram. Shiram actually provide group sets as well, as well as Shimano. And recently Shimano has terminated its licensing agreement with Hammerhead. So therefore they can't provide DI2 integration support to their bike computers. So therefore they're left with two choices. Either I stick with my Wahoo Roam and always worry in the back of my mind that it's gonna, it's gonna screw up or let's try a Garmin 1030 Edge Plus. So I thought let's give Garmin a go and let's, uh, I'll give you guys the feedback when I done my old axe on how the Garmin went. Now let's uh, start unboxing the Garmin. As I mentioned, this is the uh, this is how it comes out. This morning it came, original packaging. Now let's uh, open this up. Okay. Just need to. Uh... Okay, uh, this is the un opened up box. So here's the lovely headset, nice and clean. Neat packaging here. Underneath we have the charging cable, we have the quarter turn, the stem, stem mount here, then we have the front mount, then we have some other bits and bobs, and we have the lovely user guide, and we got the health and safety information. So we got the headset. The charging cable which is important the stem mount and other bits and bobs the front handlebar mount and we have some other cable ties here i don't know what these are but we'll have a look when i put them by i will mainly be using the headset charging cable and the stem mount i won't be using the front uh, handlebar mount because i have tri bars on my bike and these are just uh, extra adapters I believe. I'll give it a try on this um, my third old axe 300k on the weekend hopefully I'll be able to complete my ride unless there's other issues I face mechanicals on the bike or rain or wind or anything else that can impact my ride but hopefully from a bike computer perspective let's see if the Garmin saves the day. Thank you for watching if you guys have any comments feedback please leave them below and like and subscribe and I shall see you guys in the next video.